Does anyone know about the drama between Hailey Bieber and... We should watch a YouTube video about that next. Yeah. I watched some TikTok today that said Hailey Bieber lost like 700,000 followers over some disagreement with Selena Gomez. Haley is copying everything Selena is doing. Okay, my question is, why the f would anyone copy what Selena Gomez is doing? She fell off hard as f She copied three tattoos? No way. Why do 700,000 people care? Dude, because nobody has anything to do with their lives. What, uh, the people that care about Haley Bieber drama would say the same exact thing about what we're doing, except we're way smarter and cooler than they are, obviously, because like being obsessed with celebrity gossip is like literally the newbiest thing you could possibly do with your time. We are also noobs, just of a different variety, but we are cooler. There is no question that us watching this niche uh, Jamie Platt and uh, Bill Wester, Billy Trick edit, we are cooler because this has much less views, but it is kind of ultimately the same kind of shit. All right, let's, let's, let's figure this out. Selena Gomez versus Haley Bieber. Okay. I may have to go take a dump soon. Tea spill. Are we all ready? No way we watching this? Actually, there is a way, and it's what's going to happen. All right, here we go. Drama with Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber has truly taken over the internet, and it seems like everyone is team Selena, and they're not afraid to let Hailey know. It's not me. It's crazy just how quickly things can- I haven't decided what team I'm on yet. Just as a pre -rec a precursor, I do hate Selena Gomez very much. I super duper despise her. And there's one TikTok that got posted on my page that made me, and oh, here it is. And I never even like, whoa, it's sunny and raining at the same time. I don't even know why they put this in my feed. I have nothing to do with Selena Gomez. I don't interact with anything Selena Gomez adjacent, but they put this in my TikTok feed and it made me so mad. Huh? Suck it in. I'm not sucking shit in. Why? Real stomachs is coming to fuck back, okay? You saw that, people. Huh? All right, the reason this made me so mad is because she's doing like a body positive post on TikTok with like the craziest fucking face filter. How are you gonna it, promote like natural bodies while some algorithm is just like morphing your face into some like <laughs> is supposed to resemble like cosmetic surgery? So many like basic, like huge, like celebrities, the, the, the denominator or the group of people that they cater to is they're just feeding them the most confusing, like fucked up messaging. This made me upset. So off rip, I'm just telling you guys for this reason, I'm so far I'm team Haley Bieber, but that could all change can change on the internet because after Haley appeared on Call Her Daddy, things actually started to get better for her. She was pictured with Selena Gomez a few weeks after Call Her Daddy at an event, and it seemed like everything was okay between the two of them. I feel like whenever I'm scrolling on TikTok, I always see videos talking about Haley's skin and how perfect it is, or her hair and uh -huh. how everyone's debating cutting their hair because Haley cut her hair. Mm. My client told me that she was ready to ditch her blonde today. Dude, that is, that, okay, this is what I was saying about us. We're kind of doing, we are kind of living the same lives as these people but just in the little skateboarding prism instead, you know? These girls are like, should I cut my hair because of what Hailey Bieber did? And we're like, huh, I kind of thought it was impossible to wear those purple big boys, but now that I see Jamie Platt is wearing them, I'm considering purchasing them. My client told me that she was ready to ditch her blonde today and go for that classic Hailey Bieber color that's so mm. hot right now. But this one TikTok changed all of that. In my last video, we talked about this video Haley posted with Kendall Jenner and Justine Skye. Okay. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. And a lot of people thought it was definitely shade towards Selena. During this time, Selena was being body shamed online over some vacation pictures, and fans thought the timing wasn't an accident. Let me just make sure I'm understanding this right now. These three would have posted this T this TikTok celebrating the fact that Selena Gomez is being body shamed. If they did do that, that's so gnarly. Just <laughs> being like, thank God for Selena Gomez getting body shamed. 
But it doesn't seem like there's any connectivity to those two things to me. Someone. Then there was that whole situation <coughs> with the eyebrows. Selena opened up on oh her story God. about how she overlaminated her eyebrows, only for Kylie to post this a few hours later, along with a FaceTime call with Haley showing off their eyebrows. Now I wait. <laughs> Who's FaceTiming who? Wait, wait. Over laminated her eyebrows. Okay. Selena Gomez fucked her eyebrows because she's all about body positivity but can't stop fidgeting with her own face. Got it? Only for Kylie to post this. How is Kylie Jenner like they're they're like animorphs of different ethnicities? Like I don't even know what she is in this one. A few hours later, along with a FaceTime call with Hale. Okay, so Haley Bieber and Kylie Jenner are on FaceTime discussing eyebrows right after Selena Gomez has posted her fucked up eyebrows. Got it. Okay, so there's this I can understand a little bit more. There's there's something that we can sink our teeth into here. This would be a big coincidence. You know, the last thing was way too vague. You know, just God's timing is always right, whatever. But this one we're hours apart discussing eyebrows, which is a very niche topic, no? I, I, this one doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. Haley showing off their eyebrows. Mm. Now, I will say, Kylie did deny this being shade. This is reaching no shade towards Selena ever. I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Maybe, it's possible. Could be walking it back, I don't know. Hi, okay, iMovie Joa here. So after reviewing uh, this footage, I have to say, there's no way this was reaching or a coincidence, given the fact that Kylie posted this was an accident on her story, and the text is up right above her eyebrows, and then with the following screenshot of them FaceTiming, talking about eyebrows, this all transpired right after Selena Gomez talked about how she fucked up her own eyebrows. There's no way it's a coincidence, and it has to be directed at Selena Gomez. Haley tried to deny the video being directed at Selena or anyone even agreed and said she's actually a fan of Kylie, but she didn't do the same with Haley. Haley tried oh. to deny the video being directed at Selena or anyone, but no one is buying it, uh. not even Selena. Selena made multiple comments on posts talking about the situation, saying like, I love you to creators who were speaking up, telling her fans it's okay and she doesn't let those things get to her and even commenting on an old video of Hailey Bieber making a puke motion to Taylor Swift. We what? Dude, these people are fucking insane. How do you forgive like th two out of three people for whatever incident it is, but not the other one? Either they're all talking about the same thing or they're not. You can't like, out of the three people in the video, you can't be like, well, these ones didn't mean anything by it, but this one did. That doesn't make any sense. Right now, Selena Gomez is on a break from TikTok. Jesus Christ. Oh, right now, Selena Gomez is on a break from TikTok. Holy shit. Imagine that, announcing your break from TikTok. She went on live and said that she was way too old for this stuff and decided to take a step back from everything. Her She's too old? She looks like an 11-year-old, like, fucking nymph in this. And not like a, a nymphomaniac, like a, like a forest nymph. Like a mystical creature that is not real and said that she was way too old for this stuff and decided to take a step back from everything. Her comment section is filled with love and support. I'm not even trying to be like an asshole, but why do people care about Selena Gomez? What is her current role in society? Well, Hailey Bieber is, is, is a model and also Justin Bieber's wife. And Justin Bieber is a cool, hot guy um, who pretends to skateboard. So, I get Hailey Bieber's relevance. Hailey is not so much. People have been calling Hailey and Kylie out for being mean girls and partaking no. in bullying behavior. Hailey even had to turn her comments off for a while. Okay, hang on. I need to turn off my heater. This is get it's getting too heated in here. Cheerio? Like Cheerio? Uh, is this all about the eyebrows and the TikTok still? But they're back on now and people aren't holding back writing karma plays well Regina George has a seat at her table for you. I don't do mean girl 
by Haley do better. And tons of comments. Honest, she didn't fucking do anything. Saying hashtag team Selena. And now people are even digging up old tweets and videos which show Haley was actually a huge fan of Jelena back in the day. And some are even saying that she was obsessed with Selena to the point of actually copying her. Videos are now surfacing showing different times that Haley has copied Selena almost word for word. Somebody asked me a while ago, what's the one thing you wish people knew about you? And I said I wanted it to be my heart. What do you wish more people knew about you? My heart. I really felt like I always battled with the idea that people didn't really know me. They didn't know who I was. They didn't know Haley for Haley. Mm. And I just always had this constant battle where I was saying, I wish people just knew my heart. And I Whoa, trippy. Okay, you know what? Fuck this lady. People are also pointing out that Haley has gone out of her way to befriend Selena's best friend, who is only famous for being Selena's best friend. This is Haley hanging out with one of Selena's four regular, regular friends <laughs> that are not in the industry. They are famous for being Selena Gomez's best friends. So why is Haley hanging out with her, right? Here she is with another one. So this is Raquel Stevens. If you don't know who she is, I don't. I don't. I don't get why. Okay, just from my outside perspective i feel like Haley bieber is way more dope than selena gomez is so like if it does seem like Haley bieber is copying the shit out of um selena gomez but i don't get why like what does she do what is what is her reason for being popping does she do music still my new documentary okay classic there's a documentary about her okay all right, well, I guess she does some stuff. Okay, let's do a quick recount and a summary and make sure we're still all on the same page here, okay? Because we've already dedicated this much time, so we want to make sure we, we have everything correct. Haley Bieber made fun of Selena Gomez for being body shamed on a TikTok and then also posted a story with Kylie Jenner discussing eyebrows right after Haley or Selena posted her botched eyebrows on Instagram. And then there's multiple clips of Haley Bieber almost verbatim copying things that Selena Gomez had said in the past. So clearly she has a huge boner, possibly like a pathological level obsession. Because if you're like, answering interview questions in the same exact like wording and format as somebody else it means that you've watched a lot of their shit and then also i mean the biggest f factor in all of this is that they fucked the same dude Haley bieber is now married to selena gomez's first major boyfriend so i mean there's definitely there's some meat here big weird sounds like a cool rapper big weird on the mic and from time that is also weird though i will say big weird even try to steal someone's friends nothing has changed i just had this shady feeling about raquel and i knew that if i followed her i would discover that they follow each other was i wrong i don't know what we're talking Honestly, about this now. is the most peculiar thing ever why does raquel follow Haley? and like why did they follow each other <laughs> what are, and there's more and i wonder who one of those like says <laughs> oh just so weird and now all of justin bieber's comments are filled with people telling him that he married a fan and his wife is still obsessed with his ex if i would have known he was gonna marry a fan i would have kept trying e burn e -hole. your wife can't get over your ex and she wasn't even the oh, one who oh burn god damn that's gotta sting it's super weird because Haley wants to be like Selena, which is Justin's ex. It means Haley is insecure and and thinks that Justin still likes Selena. Hmm. That could be the case. Idolize Selena Selena Gomez, and that's maybe the primary reason that she wants to fuck Justin Bieber and then ended up marrying him because she wanted to live literally wanted to be Selena Gomez. I still don't get it though. Why would you want to be Selena Gomez? Maybe this is my own bias that's leading me off the trail here but i just don't like selena gomez at all this situation has gotten so big that even that? justin bieber's mom has come oh. out to say something about all the hate she tweeted hate is ugly don't be ugly wow that's just how to shut everyone up right in the middle of a drama 
you're ugly. 10,000 likes, 800,000 views. Hate is ugly, don't be ugly. <laughs> and she even liked a tweet which says, hate is ugly, envy is even worse. Whoa. And the comments under this tweet are not holding back. Here's what people had. I feel like the irony of this is it seems like Haley Bieber is the one who is envious. I don't even know why Haley Bieber is so pressed about Selena Gomez. Like, if I were Haley Bieber, I would just not give a fuck at all about Selena Gomez. I already stole your man. I'm way hotter than you. I'm younger than you. Everything Selena Gomez posts, she looks like a different person. She's mentally ill. She's in crisis mode 24-7. Who gives a fuck? Like, Hailey Bieber should be unbothered, as they say, by Selena Gomez. Hailey Bieber definitely has the potential to outshine Selena Gomez, but instead she's fixated on somebody that she should be outgrowing. That's my opinion. I think ultimately they're both probably completely fucking miserable because Selena Gomez is like living this incredibly famous life, but also it comes across as completely meaningless. Like her goal is to share, you know, platitudes about like body positivity with face filters that completely contradict her messaging. And Hailey Bieber seems to be stuck in a marriage with somebody that she is in love with, that's Justin Bieber. So it would appear as though for somebody who's so beautiful and so rich and so successful that in her personal life, she is locked into a relationship with a person who will not show her affection, um, which must be devastating. When you look at it that way, maybe it's not such a surprise that she seems to be lashing out at Selena Gomez because maybe she looks at the relationship that Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez had and she sees Justin acting away with Selena Gomez that she hasn't ever really experienced with Justin Bieber herself. So the through line could be envy and that is why she hates Selena Gomez so much, maybe. Ironically, I'd speculate that this beef between the pair of them is the most interesting and genuine thing that has happened in either of their lives for quite some time. Nobody has anything to do. Like, everyone must be so fucking bored, you know, to make this large of a fuss about, like, a story post and a TikTok. Hundreds of thousands of people are sitting on the fucking edge of their seat for just a little fucking follicle of, of information. She's only made two posts on Instagram, one being her upcoming cover for Vogue Australia. Now here's where things get a little bit mm. interesting. Yesterday, Haley was silent on Instagram, except for one repost that she made. Some brand uploaded a video of some road products that Haley sent to them, uh -huh. and they made three posts showing off these products, and one of them has the song Calm Down playing over it. Haley mm. decided to repost the one with Calm Down over what? the video, and people think it's shady because Selena actually did a remix to that song where oh. she sings in it, but the one Haley reposted oh. is the original version. Oh my god! Mind fucking box. It never ends, does it? There are unlimited tentacles to this story. Oh my word. That one is actually, that is a, a banger. I did not see that coming. There's a remix to the song, but the song that was used in the promotional post of the road product that Hailey Bieber reposted was the original and not the remix that Selena posted, but did Hailey Bieber know about the remix or is it possible that Hailey Bieber in some sort of 40 chess move asked that person to use the song calm down not only to say hey everyone calm down but then to use the original version that wasn't Selena's version as a double jab could it be that sophisticated if it is I mean listen Hailey Bieber might be an asshole but genius obviously it sounds petty but people are saying like if you know you're in the remix is a lot more popular than the original. We have an expert in chat. If it's more popular, then, then that just helps substantiate, I think, the case that it was deliberate. Okay, you know what? Here's probably what happened. Here's what I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna theorize on my c celebrity theorist shit. Is that that girl that whoever posted the road products probably looked up the song name Calm Down, and it probably said calm down, and then calm down Selena Gomez version, either above it or below it, I don't know. 
And they're probably like, well, I'm not going to use the fucking Selena Gomez version because, as I'm well aware, Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez are having a problem right now. So she probably just chose the non-Selena Gomez one. I'm guessing it was an accident, and I don't think Haley Bieber even knew about that, but it's all possible. I just think that's what's most likely is that it was a coincidence. She chose that specific one with the song, and people think it's a little bit shady. As for what's going on over on TikTok, Haley hasn't been posting over there since this whole situation blew up, and her last video currently has the comments oh switched boy. off. Now, when I was looking into all of this, I noticed her last video says, advertiser turn comments off, uh, which I found pretty interesting. Me too. We've been talking a lot about undisclosed ads on TikTok specifically, and how so many creators Whoa. are getting away with posting videos promoting products, which are actually secret sponsorships. In this video, Haley pretty much uses all of Milk Makeup pro Dude, okay, not, I really don't want to like shit on somebody, but like this whole, actually, I shouldn't say I don't want to shit on somebody. When have I not wanted to shit on somebody? This whole like influencer, like cosmetics culture is fucking people's shit up in irreversible ways. This lady's face Whatever she's, like, chasing, whatever she is after, like, the beauty standard that she is seeking or trying to attain, you have to, like, feel bad because, like, people are just, like, making their faces unrecognizable. So many third-party things being introduced into her face here. Which are actually secret sponsorships. In this video, Haley pretty much uses Fuck. all of Milk Makeup products. And you want to make fun of people for it, but it's, like, it's fucked up. There's a whole, like massive industry that revolves around like tricking people into thinking that like they look like shit and she even tagged milk makeup in the description with a little white heart this is the milk okay. matte bronzer stick in the color baked just go in i would never Tits. let you get plastic this surgery monster. The color muse and smirk this is the all right what does this have to do with anything mascara. No disclosure anywhere, not even a hashtag ad. No verbal disclosure, nothing. There's some, some people discussing whether or not Hailey Bieber is attractive. I think Hailey Bieber just like, she probably is like a, a very attractive human being. I think she's just done what a lot of people do though, especially like Instagram influencer people. There's one prototypical desired set of features to have and everyone just keeps like taking small and then larger steps to achieve that face, Instagram face. My contention is with a lot of these people and it's, you know, it's up to them, it's their personal choice and like to what degree do people have free will? I don't really know. But I think my guess is that a lot of people would look much better if they didn't fuck with their face to try to look like a cyborg. So I went on Haley's YouTube channel and it turns out that TikTok video is actually a trimmed down version of this video on YouTube. What are we talking which about? Which is in fact a milk makeup sponsorship. So now anyone watching this video what? on TikTok is gonna think it's just a genuine get ready with me video when in oh fact it's actually a paid sponsorship. I just think it's crazy that celebrities are getting away with this kind of stuff too. You would think they would have huge teams behind them who are well versed on all the laws and know about verbal and written disclosure. Simply tagging milk makeup with a little white heart isn't enough. What? Yeah, it is. Obviously, it's a fucking sponsorship. A lot of people are actually mad at Milk Makeup because oh of this whole Selena and Haley thing. Dude, this is awesome. This is like my mom used to get these like people magazines and like the sun, these tabloid articles when we'd go to the grocery store and shit. This is just like those, but extrapolated onto the internet and they're like given so many more layers. It is like making the, it's like, it, it's an interactive tabloid experience. Guys, I figured out the reason why I'm single. Ugh. Apparently you have to go outside and meet people. Like you actually have to go outside and talk to them. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. These, like, this is, this is her contribution to society, man. Like, these are the people that we're discussing right now. You actually have to go outside and talk to them. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. Right now. God damn, that is fucked. She looks insane. Her face is not even remotely the same color as her arms and hands.
This is what I'm trying to get. Why would you want to copy this person? This person needs to go to a psychiatrist. Right now, a lot of people are talking about being Team Selena and coming forward to show Selena their support. All of Rare Beauty's social media pages are filled with nice comments, and so many people are using Rare Beauty in all of their videos over on TikTok. What? One of Kylie's ex best Wait, is it like a war of, of makeup brands now? Because Hailey Bieber's like shading uh selena gomez you go and buy selena gomez's fucking beauty product dude they're all in cahoots man they're all they're all they're all sharing the money from this best friends pia mia also posted a video using rare beauty products and even had selena's song playing in the background and everyone under this video is saying even though Pia didn't say anything, she said so much with this video, and they think this is her way of confirming uh. that Kylie is in fact a bully. Here's what people had to say. This speaks volumes without you saying a damn word. I am here for it. Okay. They bullied her too. Dude, Spilled how the many likes queen. did that have? A hundred thousand likes on this. Oh my god. I am here for it. They bullied her too. Spill the tea, queen. Silent, but speaks volumes greater than ever. We love you, Selena Gomez. For a while now, Kylie- Dude, this is like- Remember when we had the Austin Gillette versus Burl beef, and that was like the most bonerific thing that has happened in years for skateboarding? We need more. After like there's a major like skateboarder, pro skateboarder beef, Nigel versus uh, Gilbert Crockett or something. I'm gonna, we're gonna be like posting on our stories wearing the Nigel shoes. Like, and people are gonna be like, you said so much with this king without saying a word. Kylie Jenner has been the most followed woman on Instagram, but Selena Gomez has officially taken her spot. What? Selena Gomez is the most followed woman on Instagram? What the fuck? How am I so out of the loop? That is unbelievable. I had no idea that anyone gave a flying fuck about Selena Gomez. That has to be, there must be bots involved. Selena now has 390 million followers and Kylie Jenner is at 379 million. Get ratioed, you fucking peasant. And judging by Kylie's comment section, that won't be changing anytime soon. Here's what people had to say. Fuck you, bitch. Lost respect. Lost respect. I have to take Hashtag a dump urgently. Team Selena. Even Huda Beauty came out and posted a video celebrating Selena being the most followed woman on Instagram. Guys, Selena Gomez has just become the number one most followed woman on Instagram, and she deserves it. She is such an amazing woman. She's constantly talking about kindness, mental health, uh, and so many things that people don't really talk about. So I applaud. Oh yeah, nobody, nobody on the internet is talking about mental health. Thank God for Selena Gomez. Her I'm so happy for her. She's also a badass businesswoman. Shout out to Rare Beauty. This is such an amazing moment to celebrate such an amazing queen. So mm. yeah, this is- <laughs> I'm gonna use that for a, a video part review. This is such an amazing moment to celebrate such an amazing queen. Situation is definitely a mess, and I have a feeling Haley and Kylie probably never thought people would catch on and speak up. But people are just over the high school behavior. Digging through like archives of thousands of hours of interviews and finding like two clips that align. You know what? If Dumb Data wants to make some fucking money on YouTube, he should he should transition to covering this kind of content. Her TikTok break and Haley hasn't officially make said actual anything use about of his what's powers. going on. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything I down below and I'll see you next time. What is this thing? Okay, I have to I have to go take a shit. Hang on. Here you guys watch the uh, crooked video. I'll be back.